This video is aimed at Moodle admins. One of the things when people set up a Moodle is the default is the profile will contain a section where people can add their additional names, a section for interests, and then a section called optional, which contains a whole lot of other things like Skype ID, AIM ID, Yahoo ID, etc. Now, from a GDPR perspective, we should only be storing the data that we need. We shouldn't be storing data that we don't need of an individual. So in my opinion, if we don't need this data, we should be removing it. Now, it doesn't appear to be a way to actually remove it within Moodle sort of normal settings. I think that's a bit odd, but that's just how it is. So what we have to do is we just have to hide it so that it doesn't show up. Now, the way that we need to hide it is using something called CSS. Now, I've worked out over the years what CSS is required to hide it. And you'll see it here on the screen at the moment. And um, the top three, this will hide the entire sections. So you've got additional names, optional and interests. So if I hide those, additional names would hide this entire section, interests would hide that entire section, and optional would hide that section. If you wanted to keep some of these but hide others, then what we would do is we wouldn't hide the optional section, but instead we would hide the individual items. And for that, we use a slightly different syntax, slightly different code, but you can see it on the screen as a way of hiding that. So I'm going to hide the three sections. I'm not going to do the individual items. So I'm just going to copy that code. And the way that we hide it is in the admin, we go to appearance. Now you could do it within the theme. So if you're using, for example, adaptable, there is an option where you can add in CSS there. But a better method is actually to use under the appearance the additional HTML box, because that will then work on any theme and it then covers you back in case you change themes in the future. So within the additional HTML, we're going to use the within head box. There might already be stuff in there, as is the case here. But if there isn't, you need to add a, an opening style that looks like that. You would then have a closing style. And then in between, you would add all of the CSS changes that you want. I've already got quite a lot in here. I'm just going to add in those lines of code that I've identified. Now, when I save changes and I go back to my profile and I refresh, you will see that those three sections have completely disappeared from the profile. I therefore can't enter them as a student and therefore I'm not going to be storing that data and we haven't got to worry about the GDPR side of storing that data. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organizations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.